Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another Star Wars toy review. This time we're taking a look at another Black Series figure, and it's Princess Leia slave outfit. So we finally get a new slave Leia figure in this new um, kind of super high end, what they're supposed to be, action figure line. It's definitely a nice action figure line, but I will say. I do like the droids and uh, the stormtroopers, Boba Fett, those figures, the aliens, look a lot better than the humans do. And I think it's just the, the, the general sculpt. I mean, this looks good, don't get me wrong, but uh, the R2 figure that I've got I think looks a lot better. The droid just translates better uh, on a larger action figure scale. But there's a reason I got this, so I, was just, I, I had to get it. So, here it is. Yes, um, I do like the packaging. I like the Star Wars uh, Black Series up here. I like the little um, kind of grayed out, um, washed out looking images they have of the characters. The orange just pops beautifully off of the package. Looks really, really nice. There is nothing on the side of the package. Um, just nothing on that side. Underneath, really nothing. And then the top of the package just has the Star Wars logo there, which looks really nice. Just kind of a wide shot of the back of the package. Um, now, I like the, again, I like the embossed logo. looks really cool. The orange, just beautiful. You've got a little write-up. You've got a scene where it looks like Leia is fighting on the sand barge, which is really cool. And she does come with some um, accessories from that sand barge. So here she is in package. Looking kind of cool. Um, there is her weapon accessories. The only thing on the offset of this, I don't think her chain is long enough. And I wish it was an actual chain. I think that would be a lot cooler. Here's the artwork on the back uh, from the movie. Looks really, really nice. I do like that. Um, and there is her write-up. If you would like to pause and read that, you can. So let's go ahead and get Slave Leia out of package and see what we think. All right, so here we have Leia out of the package. And there are things I really like about this figure and things that I don't. The general sculpt is pretty decent, I suppose, for the fact that she really has nothing on. Um, it amazes me that parents throw a shit fit about breaking bad action figures that hide the adult-oriented accessory pieces but it's perfectly acceptable for a female figure to be walking around in a stripper outfit openly in the package and call her Slave Leia. That's fine. But a toy that's geared towards an adult, that's, that's not okay. I, I, I don't get that. That is just absolutely ridiculous. This is a Disney princess now, folks. A Disney princess. So, anyway, back to the figure itself. Um, yeah, I mean, there are things I like about the sculpt, things that I don't. The elbows were pretty much bent backwards. You've got to really turn the elbows around to get them to bend proper um, out of the package, which was kind of weird. Uh, they don't really want to bend all that much, but I will say the articulation is nice. The head sculpt looks really good. This is probably the best head sculpt of Leia that we have had. Um, and the detail on it is really nice. I like the little hair piece. Um, her sculpted hair looks really cool. Uh, her little metal bikini looks really nice. I like that kind of grayish green they got going on there. Uh, she's got her little, um, I guess, bikini bottom. And the cloth, I like the cloth. That looks really, really cool. Um, and she does have the gray uh, leather piece underneath, which is nice. She has a double uh, jointed knee, which is really cool. The boots look really nice, but there's no ankle articulation, and that's really, really upsetting. She does have articulation in the wrists, uh, which is nice. She has a sw uh, swivel at uh, her thigh. She's got a ball joint on her hip, ball joint in the shoulder, and at the elbow, along with a spin. Her head uh, is on a ball joint, but it really doesn't move all that great because she has the collar. Now, the thing that I really liked 
twist was the fact she has a body twist and it was really camouflaged well i didn't I mean looking at that body you wouldn't think that um unless you look on the back side here you wouldn't think that it would spin around so that was kind of impressive and then she got a little belly button uh looking all kinds of cool so uh she actually does not stand well at all um it's kind of hard to get her to stand because, frankly, I think she's built to go with Jabba the Hutt and supposed to be laying down with him, um, which is the reason that I bought this figure. Now, she does come with some accessory pieces. She's got uh, this little uh, axe thing that she gets off the sail barge, which is sculpted really well. I like the paint job on it. I think they did a good job with it. If I can get it in focus. Focus. Um, so yeah, that looks really, really cool. I do like that. Then she's got this other piece here, which I'm guessing is just part of the sail barge. I'm not really sure, but the paint on it looks really nice. It's kind of got that splatter paint that kind of gives it a little rusty look, um, which is really, really cool. So yeah, those are pretty nice little accessories, but the reason I got this figure was not for the Leia itself and get her into focus. It's actually for Jabba the Hutt. So, yeah. It is what it is. So here she is compared to R2-D2. Uh, so just for a size comparison. Looks really cool. Really nice. I think there'll be nice accessory pieces for the Jabba the Hutt. That's the only reason that I got her. Now, the figures in this scale cost about $20. Uh, you can find them on sale for $15 here or there. The Leia is starting to get kind of hard to find. Jabba the Hutt just came out, so if you look to get that figure, I would probably go ahead and pick this up just so that you have a nice accessory to go with him. So there she is. Slave Leia from the Star Wars Black series. Thanks for watching guys and look for more videos in the future.